Hey, Adam here, The Roof Strategist. Today, we're gonna to talk about using the contingency agreement to get more sales. Now, most sales guys, especially new sales guys or sales gals, have problems when the contingency agreement comes up because it freaks the homeowner out and it throws the sale. Everything's hot, they're ready to go, and then boom, that horrifying document with eight point font that's four pages long scares the bejeebus out of them. So what we wanna do is twist how we present the contingency agreement and package it up first real nice to make it look like it's in their best interest to sign it and it actually becomes a sales tool and I'm going to show you how. So I use this printout and by the way this is available in my roofing sales accelerator marketing pack. If you are interested you can click to access it and see what's inside in the video description below. Now here's what this does. What I do is before I have the contingency out I'll keep it inside my folio or my folder or whatever it is and I'll go through this first to get the homeowner actually excited about signing it. So here's how it works. I get out my little document and I say, Peggy, now I'm excited to move forward. All we gotta do is go through a little bit of paperwork. Now, before I show you everything, I wanna just give you the high level because we all know what it's like to sift through all the fine print. Here's what this agreement does. It's called the contingency agreement and it's actually put in place to help you out. And this contingency agreement does three things, okay? now. First, it allows me to go to bat for you with your insurance company because by law, your insurance information is protected. So if the insurance company asks and they see an autograph, it's official that we're working together and they'll allow me to communicate with them on details of your project. Now, number two, it locks in the price. So whatever the insurance company says is the coverage, it locks in the price. I call it my price lock guarantee. And I coined that phrase, by the way. My price lock guarantee makes sure that if the insurance company says the project will be 12,000, I can't come back and call it 15,000. Now, the third thing it does is it states that after we help you get your roof covered and all the other damage, we become the contractor of choice to do the work. Because as you know, we don't charge, there's no bill for any of this process of us working with the insurance company or negotiating a claim. We only get compensated by actually doing the work. So it states if we get this all approved, we become the contractor of choice and we do the project from start to finish. Now, being a contingency agreement means that you have everything to gain and nothing to lose. So if the insurance company comes back and says we're not gonna cover it or the coverage is insufficient and we can't change anything, then this becomes dust in the wind, it is ripped up and you don't owe us a dime. Sound good? Perfect, now let's move on to the contingency agreement. All I need for you to do is date and sign here. Boom, and it's done. Now, I don't always get as dramatic and rip up this piece of paper because I could use it again. But the point is this, your contingency agreement can be a sales tool if presented properly. And you can access that exact document, the printout that I use to walk through with your customers. So access it below. It's part of my roofing sales accelerator marketing pack. All you gotta do is click print and you'll have access to it immediately. Now, if you want more training videos, you can click the link below and watch our playlist of training videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop some comments below, and hey, if you haven't yet, click subscribe and you'll get notified of all the free training that's coming your way. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next one.